morning, everyone. Um, I was I was waiting eagerly, waiting here. Being the first one is always a little bit tricky, and uh, the time was ticking in. It was getting a little bit late, and the German in me was getting really, really nervous and anxious about it. But because I'm also Australian and I've got English and everything, so I was getting quite calm about it as well. So. Chainium, I want to talk a little bit about what we do and uh, what we're all about. So Chainium is all about equity, uh, shareholdings, buying and selling shares. And the, the services we offer range from shareholder communication, share transactions, shareholder voting, online communities, shareholder analytics. So it's all about shareholding and it's about private and publicly listed uh, businesses. And I want to tell you a little bit of a story and a, and a solution and what we're trying to do. So imagine you're Eva. Yeah? You have potentially a clothing store, you might be in Brunswick or, or Richmond, you, you might you know, own a little store or a global store, whatever, and you want to raise ca capital and you want to sell share certificates. So what do you do at the moment? Yeah? And as we know, there are 400 million businesses around the world representing 99% 90 of the total global businesses. And they can't sell share pub shares publicly, and why is that? So what options do they have? So, Eva, she has a couple of options. She can ask her friends and family to raise some funds, but the friends might not be wealthy, or she may not actually have friends. So the other option she has, she can pitch to a panel here, she can pitch to venture capitalists, but again, she might not know them. She might not know any. Um, she can go to crowdfunding, she can go to Kickstarter, do a campaign there, but again, it's very complex, it's very long-winded, and it's also, they charge quite high fees. You can try to publicly list your business and company, and again, it's very complex. Uh, there's high fees around it, and it takes a long time. So raising capital at the moment is expensive, it is slow, and it is complex. Now imagine you're a private investor, and I want to show you David. Um, David has potentially made some money through the latest Bitcoin crypto hype. He might have invested in one of these really, really unique kittens and, and potentially made some money around that, and now he wants to spend his money. So what does he do? Yeah? He can use an online investment platform, and those online investment platforms are usually available only to publicly listed companies. They don't list private businesses. And again, they're very expensive, they charge high fees. You can go to a bank or speak to a broker, and again, the, the banks and brokers take their time. It takes days to open an investment, a brokerage account takes days to get the PIN number and all these certificates back, and it takes just a long time. Or you can actually go to a crowdfunding platform, and again, most of them don't really list private businesses or even publicly listed businesses. Again, what he, the world he sees, it's complex, it's slow, and it's expensive. Yeah. At the same time, intermediaries, managing transactions between an investor and a business owner, getting richer and richer, yeah. In 2016, 85 billion was spent on fees. Yeah. And the fat cats are even getting fatter at the moment. So what is our vision as Chainium? We are building a global equity network. We are offering investors a direct access to local and global businesses. We, access, we give them access to exclusive investments, perks and rewards. And we allow them to buy and sell equity on a secondary marketplace. So we're creating almost like an alternative marketplace, a secondary stock exchange for private businesses and public leadership businesses. For a business owner, we create the direct link between investors and the business owner. There's no middleman in between. There are no advisors, no, no brokers, no banks, no, no, no registrars or clearinghouses in the middle. There's a direct link between a business owner and a business investor. Yeah, we manage and communicate to these investors. It's not about just buying and selling shares and, and doing an investment. You need to nurture your stakeholder and, and shareholders. You need to keep them updated. You need to have regulatory uh, reporting and analytics and data available. There's a lot of things that you have to do, and we manage all of that through our platform. We do all of this through a simple app, and it's free. Yeah, our basic service is free. So the equity market today, just to give you a comparison, yeah, you have high fees, you have a lot of days and a lot of time that it takes, you have public companies only, and you, you, know, you can only sh uh, trade uh, shares in a publicly listed company. So what we offer is a free service, minutes to process a transaction, we allow all businesses, private or public, and we allow to buy and sell shares for any type of business. 
Our focus on growth from a financial business perspective, we have a five-year fin financial forecast. We're looking at 100 million pounds revenue within the five years. And we offer a lot of kind of these boring revenue streams and boring revenue um, around analytics, investment advice, uh, premium services, secondary marketplace and third-party apps, et cetera, et cetera. So why are we using blockchain? This is a blockchain conference, and you're wondering, well, why are you using blockchains? First of all, shareholder data, the direct link between investor and business owner, warrants the use of blockchain. Yeah? We're creating this really transparent, immutable record between the two, and you wouldn't imagine how difficult it is to really, for companies to really understand their shareholder base, to understand what they do, understand where, how much balances they have, uh, all these reconciliation issues and balancing issues between intermediaries and, and, and uh, organizations is disappearing with our solution. Yeah? So we've built an abstraction layer on, from a blockchain perspective, um, so we're not basically getting into the transaction problems that you're seeing at the moment, for example, with Ethereum network. We also have a data layer to look at AI and artificial intelligence, services around uh, investor uh, behavior, shareholder behavior, et cetera, et cetera. And we have a lot of technology around uh, how we integrate APIs and third-party services. So the team, we've been working for more than 100 years in, in equity. I used to be the CIO for the largest share registrar in the world. Uh, I've created a team together with my two co-founders, Ermin and Florian, which are also sitting in the audience, of real equity experts. And we've started to build this product and started to develop this product. We've released a prototype in the last couple of months. We're doing a pre-sale at the moment. Uh, our alpha version is, is going live in February, March, and we're aiming to have the product ready in June and July to then really target bis private businesses and later on publicly this business as well. Um, token sale details, we're raising 8 million at the moment. Uh, we were doing a pre-sale, which is going quite well. Uh, we have 20 million tokens. Uh, we will burn the tokens that we are not going to sell. So we have, uh, it's, it's a very small supply. We don't need more. Uh, we just really, everything will go into building the product. And uh, yeah, as I said before, the pre-sale is, uh, uh, is happening at the moment. Um, as I mentioned before, our app is available to download in the Android store. We'll have an iOS app available soon as well. And um, yeah, we are effectively trying to reinvent the equity marketplace. We're talking to a lot of private businesses at the moment. There's a huge need. We've, we've just had calls from Canada, from South America, for businesses really having issues raising capital. They want to use our product, so we will go to market very, very soon. We have the experience. We've managed large global businesses. We've managed the largest companies around their shareholdings, so we know what needs to be done. We have good operational excellence. We have good operational skill set. And again, blockchain gives us this capability to really direct they link the investors and the business owners. Thank you very much.